Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Happy Friday, how's everyone doing? Are you guys ready for the weekend? I hope all of you are doing well. In um, today's video, well it's gonna be actually like a weekend video, it's gonna be vlog style, but this weekend is Rose Bowl weekend, or Rose Bowl Sunday. Woo! Rose Bowl is one of my favorite markets. I look forward to it literally every month. I prepare for Rose Bowl like the whole month. I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing really quick. Um, so I have on this vintage plaid oversized shirt and it has some pockets over here and it's so cozy. And it also has this really cute hood. How cool is this? So I'm wearing that and then I'm wearing some uh, high-rise vintage, I don't know if they're vintage actually, but high-rise uh, Levi's shorts that I cut up. So this is the cut details I did and I also cut them into, they were originally pants and I turned them into shorts. So yeah, so that's them. This is the back. And then of course I have a uh, fresh pair of Air Force Ones. Um, honestly, I bought these recently and I'm so obsessed with them that I think I'm going to just buy like more So I always have like clean Air Force ones. Let me know if you guys think Air Force ones are like Basic and overrated. I'm curious or if you know of any other cool like white sneakers that go with everything because I'm kind of like Minimalist. I don't like having a bunch of stuff. Anyways. Okay. Let's go into the day. Okay, let me show you what we're working with for Sunday's event. Here we have some stuff that's ready to go up on the hanger. Here we have some stuff that needs to get sewn. This stuff here, I haven't decided yet what I want to do with it. I don't know if I want to take it with me or keep it here for reworks. So we have that. I'm sorry this place is a mess. And then this is all the stuff I'm taking with me for sure over here. Here we got this pile. This whole thing is going to get bleached and it's going to be ready for tomorrow or for Sunday. So all that's getting bleached. All this is ready to get hung up. And then let me show you all the patch flannels we have here. So we have a bunch of flannels here, a bunch of flannels here. All of these have a cool little band patch on the back. Isn't that cute? And we still have a whole tub of more of those here because these sell like hotcakes on Sundays. Got Aaliyah, got Nirvana, we got some cool patch shorts. So yeah, that's what we got going on. And yeah, sorry about the mess. This is the office. I'm gonna clean it all up. Don't worry, don't mind it. happy Saturday I hope everyone's having a great day we're back here at the office um, so last night I was here till about 8 p.m. bleaching t-shirts um, sewing stuff getting everything ready because I want to sell everything as much as I can so I can buy more new stuff for summer and because I love buying I want to sell a lot so I'm um, this week or this market this month I'm going to be bringing like the most I've ever brought. I just have so much stuff and I haven't done markets in a while, so I'm like ready to get rid of it. So I'm gonna take you guys with me today. We're gonna load up my car for Rose Bowl tomorrow. Yay! Okay guys, so before I start loading my car, I wanna share you guys some of the custom pieces that I'm gonna be taking with me tomorrow. Um, hopefully people like them as much as I do. So really quick, I just wanna show you what they look like. Um, so I have like these, I had these crop tops. They were like t-shirts and then they were made into crop tops and then they have like adjustable straps. And I think that's really cute. I try to make clothes so like people of all sizes or like a wide range of sizes can fit in them because everybody has like a different body type. So I have that one. And then I made this, I got this Playboy one made too. And I have a few more, but these two are like my favorites for summertime, I really like the color. I was also playing around with some different fabrics. I went to the downtown uh, uh, fashion district and bought like a bunch of fabrics that were on sale. So we, um, I, I designed this and this is like a new design. It's on like this flannel shirt. So, and it's really light and kind of see-through the, the material. So it's kind of like summery. So I have that one and then I made another one or I had another one made with this band tee. I really love the way that looks. 
So I'm curious to know what you guys think. Do you guys like this design with this like tie-dye looking acid material? And I also had like, I also got some of these made with the flannel. It's not a new style. I just really like how it came out with the Nike one, like this one was my favorite. Okay, before I start loading the car, let me show you how many racks I'm taking. This is rack one. Now let me take you to the other racks. We have rack two, rack three, rack four. So we're taking all of this into my car and that other rack. Just for reference, let me just show you how small my car is. This is gonna be a serious mission. Let me show you. And there is my car. Isn't she just the tiniest little thing? This is gonna be so much fun. So yeah, okay, so let's do it. Hurt nobody. Let your knees drop while the beat rock. Need my scheme seem some like P rock. You gotta hit the G spot. Life's too short like an E rock. Live it. Let your nerves shake while the earthquake. Do the bird like it's purple rain. Now say something stupid about girls and drinks and slur your words and sip on Chardonnay. Now roll some up. What you waiting for? Roll some up. Eyes low if you roll like us. So when I say so, everybody jump. Hey guys, okay, so before I pack up, I want to show you what I was selling here today at my booth. It was so crazy that I didn't get a chance to film until the end. Um, but basically on this tent here, I have all of the t-shirts. And all of the t-shirts that I sell mostly have bleach and stuff like that over here. And then here on the other side of the tent, which is the white tent, I have all the patch flannels here. More patch flannels. We sold like so many. There was so many more this morning. Okay, guys. And then here we have um, reworked and distressed Levi shorts. Here we got some dresses and stuff like that. More customs here. I have some sweatshirts here with the tie around the waist and these patch shorts that sell really well. Those are my last two pairs. And we got some other custom shirts here in this tent over here. So yeah, so today was a really great day. Hey, about to turn a dream to a million, but we don't chase cream, so we feed it to the children. Paint new faces on the canvas as I write classic poems like Sanskrit. Epic, three letters, don't forget it. Pronounce soul, but I got soul in excess. The next best to the best, but the best ain't rain yet. I guess we all kings, yes. A rising tide will raise all boats. But if you throw stones, nobody floats. Negativity breeds nothing but ills. That's why I paint the perfect picture with the team that I build. Say cheese. What is up, you guys? Happy Sunday. I'm finally talking to you guys. It's the end of the day now. Um, so we finally wrapped up Rose Bowl. I also did a little bit of shopping as much as I could. I honestly couldn't do as much as I wanted to because it was just so busy all day from like 7 o'clock in the morning till three o'clock when they when they closed we were just like slammed and it was so freaking hot it was like insane man honestly i was like dying um so finally i'm gonna get some food and stuff but um yeah so today was pretty successful hey everybody so it's monday now i really wanted to share with you guys before i closed off the video all the stuff that i got at rose bowl yesterday um so i'm gonna do a really quick haul and yeah so let me see here I got a bunch of band tees because band tees are just my thing. I think they sell really well. First one I got is this Bob Marley t-shirt. It's like soft and worn in and like cozy. Perfect for summer, it's lightweight. And then I got this Pink Floyd t-shirt. I really like this graphic that they have here. Again, it's like faded and worn in and soft and it's not too thick so it's a nice feel for summertime. I got this one. I got this Metallica t-shirt and it has like this nice faded color. And it's, oh dang, I just noticed it's totally ripped up. Oh, this sucks. Oh man, it's okay. It's not a big deal. <clears throat> I'm just going to rework it, but still that's a bummer because I was just planning on putting it on the rack to sell. I got this cute Grateful Dead t-shirt. has like this little baby logo. I think it's cute. I'm gonna probably crop it. 
and um yeah i don't know if it's vintage i think it says here it's from 2005 so it's from the early 2000s um i don't know too much about vintage honestly i just get stuff that i think is cute i got this um def leopard fan tee i'm gonna probably throw some bleach on that and see what happens i think it's cute i really like the big logo on it so that should be a nice little seller there i picked up i think only one or two harleys i got this really soft like stretchy looking vintage it's not vintage it's not real vintage but it's just vintage looking harley and i think that's a picture of a motor and this is the back isn't that cool so i'm gonna throw some bleach on this one too probably and put it on my etsy shop and see how that does i know Ed, uh, harley t-shirts are really popular bob marley t-shirt and it's nice and faded and it has like that nice color i don't know if you can see on the camera it has like a nice faded gray color to it also and the image is nice and faded i just like the way it feels i know it's gonna do it's gonna sell quickly this t-shirt is from 2010 so yeah I got this ACDC band tee. This one I believe is not vintage and it's not secondhand. I believe it's like dead stock or it's bought from, it's like dead stock. Like sometimes like stores like Forever 21 and stuff like that, they have like a lot of inventory and they wanna get rid of it. So like warehouse companies will buy like, I think big pallets and sell them to resellers like me. So I think that's the story on that one. And I think this print shirt that I found is also kind of a similar story. Um, so yeah, it's really cute though. I really like this mineral wash to it. I don't know if you can see that. It's not like tie-dye, I don't know. It's like an acid mineral. So that's cute. I'm probably gonna throw some bleach on it anyways and see what happens. Let me show you guys this really quick. I got this camo jacket. It's not camo actually, it's like this army jacket. So it's really nice quality. Um, I'm debating whether I should crop it or if I should just leave it long and do the acid wash, do the bleach to it. These are the buttons. Isn't that nice? It's a really nice piece. So we got that one. Okay, let me show you these. I got this Iron Maiden one. What is this? Oh my goodness. Huh. I buy I buy stuff and it was so hot and it was so busy I overlooked certain things. I think I can wash that off though. But yeah, I got this Iron Maiden shirt. So that's nice. It's a nice fade and I like the color. It's not Harley Davidson, but I really like this graphic again and I'm going to probably throw some bleach on it. Check that out. I don't think it's vintage either. It just, it's just a cool print. So yeah, I got that. And I got this soft, again, another soft worn in ACDC shirt. I think it has a little hole on it. I think the person who buys um, these t-shirts is aware of like how they're unique and slightly have imperfections throughout. But anyways, again, it feels really good. It's soft and it's faded. I really liked the color. So we got that one. We got this Jimi Hendrix tee. It's like this salmon color. I'm gonna probably bleach it and see what happens. You can't go wrong with Pink Floyd. I think Pink Floyd is a really popular band and for me it sells pretty well. So this is a pretty safe buy. Again, it has like that acid wash throughout the t-shirt, which makes it look like old and like unique. I'm probably gonna throw bleach on it anyways, because honestly, I'm just obsessed with putting bleach on everything. We got this ACDC one also. Here we go with that acid wash throughout again. I really like the faded looking logo on it. So we got that. I bought a t-shirt like this or the, a similar color to this one not too long ago and the I threw bleach on it and it came out looking really cool. So I decided to get another one that's this color and do it again because I just love that. So that is showing you everything I got at uh, yesterday's Rose Bowl flea market. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching.